And now it's time to play Guess How Many? How many you think there's gonna be? Huh? Huh? How many you think she has? Lots of babies. Huh? <laughs> That's our dog, Blue. We ate Dane. He Whoa. was he was great. He was he just got too old. He just got to, you know, you know, you know that age where it's like, man, if we're not gonna eat. You know, if we don't eat them now, he's gonna get bad, you know? Hello, goat lovers, Crystal and Emily here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats, and it is time for our March weigh-in. So our March weigh-in is the last weigh-in that we do before all of the goats kid, and so that means it's also time to play Guess How Many. Guess How Many is a game me and my mom play to see how many kids the does will have. And I'm a two crowned victor, and it's about to be three, Whoa. so. She's a two crowned victor. <laughs> two crowned victor. I didn't know there was a crown involved, but yes, Emily has definitely whooped me the last two years in a row. So this year, it's my turn to win. So first up is beautiful Cassie here. Uh, Cassie's due date is March 29th. She is at 95 pounds. 95 pounds. So Cassie has gained nine pounds since the February weight. Holy moly. So Cassie here was 45 inches round. Let's see. So 46 and a half. It's an inch and a half of growth for Miss Cassie. Okay, so one of my favorite things to do, and it always works a lot better if you have them in a stand where they can't run away from you, is fill for babies. So about three months you can start filling for the babies, and Cassie here is just about three weeks out for her due date, um, so she's definitely had ample time to grow those babies, and we could fill them moving around big time. So when you're filling for the babies, just keep in mind, uh, the runts are on the right, and the lunch is on the left. So the babies are over here on the right side and their rumen is, is hard at work on their left. And so you just kind of go right here, more on the right, right in front of their udder, you're gonna feel for the babies. And you gotta kind of just bump them a little bit just to wake them up. And there it is, there's the baby. And you can just feel them doing somersaults and moving around and it's super, super cute. So if you guys haven't felt for babies on your pregnant does, you need to. That, that was a big kick. It's just cool. It's just really cool. All right, so only an inch and a half for growth and just over a month for Cassie here. That, I would have expected a little bit more than that, but that's okay. I'm gonna go with twins again for Cassie this year. I'm gonna go three. I'm three. I'm guessing three. She just likes that. They're all gonna have 80 kids this year. But she's also more Always correct. right. <laughs> so. so. All right, I say twins for, for Cassie here and she says triplets. Okay, now we have Daisy um, and her due date is April 2nd. Let me let go of your collar. She is 100 pounds. 100 pounds, so Daisy has gained eight pounds. That's good. Okay, Daisy was 43 inches. And now she is 46 and a half. Three inches for Miss Daisy. Okay, so for Daisy, she is a very, very deep body doe. She had a single, then she had twins, and now, honestly, I'm thinking triplets on this one because her belly is so tight. There's not a lot of give, meaning she's chock full of something. And it's babies. So I'm gonna say triplets for, for Daisy this year. I would say two. Just twins? Just twins. I feel like, I don't know, she could just have two big babies. Okay. <laughs> All right, next up is Daytona, who is not having this being weighed, but her due date is March 26th. I'm gonna let go of you, you be good. She is 58 pounds. 58 pounds, so Daytona has gained seven pounds. Oh, okay. This Daytona was 36 inches. Let's see, lots of growth, lots of growth. Um, about 38 and a half. So two and a half for Daytona. That's good. Hello, goat lovers. People are always asking my wife which bar of soap would their husband like? So she thought she'd ask me. 
Um, my first favorite was charcoal because it just looks really tough. And I like camo and pine and I like camo and cedar because they're camouflage. But quite honestly, my favorite has become the sage bar. Um, I don't know why, just one day in a store I caught a whiff of something that smelled nice and I realized it was me. Blue cactus soap is made with all natural ingredients. It's available on Etsy. Hot wife and giant dog must be acquired separately. Okay, the baby, you can just feel it. It's not moving, but you can just feel the body in there. My biggest fear is for my first fresheners to have single bucklings, just one big kid. <laughs> one big <laughs> buckling. <laughs> Okay, so for this pretty, pretty girl, um, I am just gonna have to go. I think she has a single. I'm crossing fingers that she doesn't, but that's what I think. You know, yeah, I'm also gonna, you know what? Two, you know what, two. She doesn't have a lot of give. She just doesn't wanna say what I said. Exactly. <laughs> no, but she doesn't have a lot of give either, so. Two? Yeah, two. Okay, now my beautiful grand champion Mayo here. Her due date is April 7th. She is 97 pounds. 97 pounds. Mayo has gained 13 pounds. All right, this pretty girl was 44 inches. And she is 45 and a half. Inch and a half for Mayo. Okay, so another thing that I actually look at when I'm guessing how many is the size of their udder. Now Mayo here has four weeks out and she's already bagging up really well, actually. Um, so a lot of Kate times you might not see hardly anything uh, at this stage in the game because again, she's four weeks away from her due date, um, but her udder looks nice and big. It's, it's getting there. So in most cases, what that's telling me is she either has a lot of babies in here or they could be bucklings maybe like one or two bucklings because that will also give you a bigger udder because the bucklings need more milk okay. i guess i'm just guessing two you think two she has a lot of room in there okay so last year she had a giant buck um, Marshall and he was just huge but she also got really really chunky um, this year she's lost a lot of that weight so none of this is really chunk um, and she's she's looking pretty big and I like her utter size so I'm gonna go I almost want to say triplets because I'm really really hoping for triplets um, three does but I bet she has I'm gonna go triplets I want triplets. just to be different no, because I want triplets. <laughs> I'm gonna will it. <laughs> All right, now we have pretty honey here. Her due date is April 1st. Hold on, hold on. She has 68 pounds. 68, so honey has gained five pounds. Okay, sweet honey here. 38 inches is what she was, oh wow. And now she's 40. All right. Yeah. These babies are very happy today. Very active. So she's feeling a little tight. She has like barely any udder growth. Um, and she's about three weeks out. I would hate to call a single on her, especially since she got that many inch. I'm gonna go twins. I'm gonna go twins. She definitely doesn't have more than twins. Possibly a single, but I'm saying twins. I don't know. She's full in there. Mm. I mean, I'm going to go single. Single. So now we have beautiful Maisie, and her due date is March 29th. I'll let you go, you stay. 49. 
49. So Maisie has gained 5 pounds. Okay. Maisie is not liking this stand. She was 33 inches. Now she's 34 and a half. Inch and a half for Maisie. Yep. She's pregnant. She's got an udder. Oh, there's squishy, is she? Oh, there he is. There we are. There I'm against a single. There's no way she has any more than one. I know, I'm already guessing single, too. Oh, wow, she's squishy. Squish. There's a baby. So she's definitely pregnant. And she has a really, really cute little udder bump. Ah, uh, single. I'm definitely going single for this one. Okay, and now we have beautiful Lily. How are you today? Her due date is March 29th. She is tapping out at 100. 100. So <laughs> Lily uh, has gained seven pounds and become the second goat in the 100 pound club. <laughs> All right, so Lily was 45 inches. She's got a big old belly. And she's deep. So if she's out wide this way and deep, that's saying something. Ah, uh, 47. 47. Huh. That's kind of the theme so far, about an inch and a half, two inches. Right, yeah, that, that's looking like the theme. She's got a lot of, uh, she is tight. It has nothing to do with her eating. Yeah, she's not even fat at all. I mean, I can fill bodies in there. It's not even a question of whether there's one. And her udder's looking pretty decent, so. Triplets. Again, last year she had triplets and it was the first time. Um, so she's looking big like she did last year. I'm, I'm gonna go with, with triplets. I'm gonna go triplets. Oh, whoa. That's okay. Well, Lily. She's I mean, she done. went right she's back. Done. She's she like, went. you girls are right or <laughs> out. I'm leaving. And then she's like, guess what? <laughs> Yeah. Guess what? You're waddling. Freaking fat. <laughs> I mean, she looks good on the run. Okay, and now we have sweet, sweet Abilene here. Gosh, look at her top line. She's gorgeous. Uh, April 1st is her due date. 98 pounds. 98. So Abilene has gained six pounds. Okay, let's see, Miss Abilene. She was 44 inches. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Here you go. There you go. Sorry. All right, 44. She's sucking in. Why are you sucking in, girl? She don't want to seem fat. 46. 46. <laughs> Another two-inch gain. Let's see, Miss Abilene. She's not real tight in there. So Evelyn's just about three weeks out. I feel A, baby. She doesn't have a lot of udder development, but she's pretty big. I'm gonna, yeah. I think, I don't know, she is three weeks out. She might surprise me. So last year she had triplets. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, she's gonna do triplets again this year. I take it back, she's gonna have twins. Triplets. Okay, twins. I'm going triplets. I don't know where she's going. <laughs> uh, twins. <laughs> We're calling twins. You're locking that in, huh? Locking in twins. Abilene twins. Okay, these first fresheners are not having it on the scale. Uh, this is gorgeous Acacia. So, Abilene's daughter. March 26th is her due date. She has 55 pounds. 55, so Acacia's gained seven pounds since her last weigh-in. That's a good girl. All right, so Miss Acacia here was 35 inches. And she is getting a very deep belly, not so much wide. But, yeah, about 37 inches. 37. All right, she's really squishy in there, actually. But, okay, you have to show them the udder on this one. It's, 
The biggest first fresh and utter, and it's actually, it developed about three weeks ago, which is shocking for a first freshener. That's super, super early. So initially I was thinking she's gonna have a lot of kids, um, but maybe she's not gonna have a lot of kids and maybe she's just naturally gonna be a milk cow and just make lots of milk anyway, um, which is ideal for a dairy goat. And her mama kind of does too, so. Yeah, and but she's really squishy. Um, I don't want to say it, but I think another single for this this uh, first freshener. Yeah, I'm gonna go single. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Two. Her udder is deceiving, but I, I think you said two. I'm gonna go two. All right, I say single. Emily says twins. And now we have Dreamer. Um, Dreamer's due date is March 29th. Don't move, girl. She's 95. 95. Eight pounds for Dreamer. Dreamer's looking mighty wide, actually. And she was 42 inches. She might make it three or four inches. Holy moly. 45. Three inches for big Dreamer. <laughs> Dreamer got a little chunky, too, but she's lost a lot of that chunk. Hmm. She's not super tight in there, but man, she's got a lot of depth. I just think Dreamer, I'm gonna, triplets. I'm being hopeful, triplets. Probably twins, but I'm saying triplets. I'm gonna also say triplets, but mom stole my guess. <laughs> okay, now we have Mia, my soon to be champion. I just know it. Uh, her due date is April 1st. I'm gonna let go of you, girl. Don't go. 88 pounds. 10 pounds for Mia. That's our big girl. Okay, so she was 39 and a half. Her belly's getting pretty big, especially when she lays down. It's huge. Oh my. 43. So four inches? Three and a half. Three and a half inches. That's the biggest gain so far. Yeah. For mighty Mia here. Yay! I bet you she has triplets and she's gonna have a bigger udder and I'm excited for Mia. So is that your guess, triplets? But, yeah, I've already been thinking triplets. She had triplets, oh, and she's tight in here. She had triplets last year as a first freshener and I thought she was gonna have a single, so. She can definitely have three in here this time. And what about you, huh? Uh, I was gonna say triplets, but someone keeps stealing my guesses, bro. I don't know, Lot, like mom said, last year she looked like she barely had anything and this year, Gained four inches. I'm gonna shoot one. I'm gonna go four for her. Quads, huh? Quads. Wow. I don't know what she's shooting, but but quads. Really, quads. Quads. I hope she's right, but we'll see. Okay, this is Mia's daughter, Molly, who's very, very pretty. Uh, her due date is March 26th. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna let go. 55. 55. Molly has gained eight pounds. That's a big gain. Okay, Miss Molly. Now Molly is taking on the deeper body. Um, she was 33 and a half inches. She doesn't look real wide, but she is deep. And she is 35 and a half. 35 and a half. I mean, two inches, that's definitely the thing that's kind of crazy okay we'll let Emily go first since she keeps thinking I'm stealing her guesses whoa I don't even where is this guy oh there he is there you are I'll go one there's no <laughs> one easy there is one in there she's got an adorable little udder and she is really squishy. I'm gonna call another single for this first freshener. This is Maddie. Her due date is April 3rd and she weighs 98, 90, 99 pounds. 99 pounds. 99 so pounds. Maddie has gained nine pounds since her last weigh-in. Whoa. Maddie was 45 inches and now, she is 46. 
46 for Miss Maddie. So last year Maddie had two. Ooh. Ooh. Huh. Do tell. She doesn't have a lot of give. Are you here. saying she's overweight? <laughs> you know what? She might even have triplets. Oh. I'm gonna go three for her. Probably ten. All right, let's see. She does have quite a large udder. Maddie, it's okay. For those of you that are new to the channel, this is Emily's goat. Her name is Maddie, and she was not a bottle baby. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of tight. It's not real squishy. And she's got quite a bit of a bag. Um, I think she might have triplets too. She's pretty big. Okay, so now we have Tippy. Or if you're good friends with her, she lets you call her Tippy Tippy. She is March 31st. Let's see, head up. I'm gonna let you go for a second, girl. 77. 77 so tippy has gained six pounds i got more all right so tippy was 40 and a half oh let's see mama and she is now 43 43 so two and a half that's like the second biggest i think i don't know i don't remember there's a lot of goats but not too many not too many okay she's not real tight she's looking a little bit bigger than a single for sure but she's got like no udder kicking just the flesh has started um mm. i'm gonna say twins i didn't look very confident there did i i think twins is <laughs> Where is it? I would say single. I'm going one. Hey, big guy, what you doing? Did you just wake up from a nap, big guy? So now we have little Trixie here. Uh, she is a daughter of Tippy. Her due date is March 28th. Hold on, I gotta let you go. She is 59 pounds. I'm lying, she's 49 pounds. Okay, that's good to say. <laughs> I was gonna say, wow. Okay, so she's gained seven pounds. Okay. All right. So Trixie was 33 inches. Oh. Quite frankly, she doesn't look like she's grown a whole lot. Well, two inches. That ain't nothing. Okay, Emily can go first. Um. bunch of give but considering her due date is one of the closer ones even though the babies at the last trimester they grow rapidly um, but I mean like honestly if she didn't have a little udder bump I wouldn't think she took potentially but then there's the weight gain so that's a lie um, I'm going single unfortunately I think she's got a single Hi, Dane. Hey, buddy. Oh, Mom, boo. Look right here. Oh. Is he on it? Yeah. 157, 58. Closer to 159. Yeah. Do you know what that means, Dane? Does that mean you're losing weight, big guy? He's losing weight. Good boy, he's a big guy. How you gotta get though? Come on, pupper. Oh. All right, sorry, buddy. Okay, now we have Ray. Um, her due date is April seventh, and she is tapping out of seventy-four pounds. Seventy-four. So that's six pounds weight gained for little Ray. 
Okay. Little right here was 39 inches. Just kind of in the last week, she's really blown up. So now she is 41 and a half. Two and a half for little Miss Ray. three what makes you say three she has like little to no give and even though she doesn't have that much of an utter she's next month so she's in the later of the due dates so she's a good daughter okay she is feeling pretty tight in here i can actually feel a body at least and as of a week ago literally she was looking like she wasn't really that bred or she's just gonna have a single and no udder whatsoever so now she's got a little udder bump and her belly's getting uh pretty big so i last year she had triplets i'm going triplets again this year what's up troublemaker you guys are causing trouble you won't let the neighbor lady just walk will you, you gotta bark at her Whoa. now you gotta just stay in here for a bit Okay, so now we have Pepper, um, who's absolutely adorable. Her due date is April 13th, and she is weighing in at 71 pounds. 71, so Pepper has gained nine pounds. Holy moly, girl. Okay, so Pepper here is looking pretty big. Um, I had her down as an earlier due date, but then legend told me she went back into heat uh so she was 38 inches now she is 41 and a half and wow so i might be wrong and she might not have taken on that second one maybe legend was just feeling lucky i don't know but she's looking pretty big so i guess emily's going first again Oh my god, she has <laughs> no room. Look at that. It's true. Barely an udder. <sighs> she probably has three does in here. We hope so. Is that what you're calling? Three? Three. Three's my guess. I mean, she doesn't have like hardly any udder. I, I'm gonna say triplets for her too. Okay, now we have Piper. So this is Pepper's little daughter. Uh, her due date is April 8th. Isn't she stunning? Just throwing that out there. Let's see what you weigh, girl. I'm gonna let go. 52 pounds. 52, so Piper has gained six pounds. Okay, this cutie patootie was 35 inches. And she is 36 now. Only one inch for Piper. Jeez. Okay, she's not super tight. She's got the sweetest little udder bump. Um, single. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Just one, just, just one. Just way too much give. I hope we're both wrong. Look at this. It's very hairy, but it's very adorable. We'll be doing udder shapes soon. Now we have Grand Champion May here. Uh, her due date is April 9th, so she's got a little ways out. And she is 75 pounds. 75 pounds that means may has gained seven pounds since the last weigh-in good girl okay let's see what may has done inch wise she was 43 uh, the weight gain is promising i love it and let's see here oh 43 and a half okay so seven pounds since the last weigh-in and only a half inch um, but she did gain seven pounds, so that's really good. I bet she just has a single in here. She's got her udder pouch. It's not getting much bigger or anything. Just still kind of stay in the same size for a couple weeks, but it's there. 
Uh, I want to add two so bad. I know I'm wrong, but I'm going to say two. I hope she's not. And she's not real tight. So yeah, I'm, I'm sticking with a single. And she still has quite a ways to go, you know. So like, she could be just blowing up the last few weeks here. And now we have Fluffball Bessie. Her due date is April 1st. Hold on, hold on, stay still. Hold on, girl. Hold on, hold on. Seventy-six. Seventy-six. So Bessie has gained eight pounds. That's a lot, girl. Okay, Bessie's belly's getting pretty round. She was forty and a half inches. That's a big belly. Oh yeah. So now she's forty-three. She's not super tight, but she's getting there. Um, and not a lot of udder development. And with the fact that her due date. She's got twins. Ooh. Twins? Bro, I feel at least two babies right here. Um, I'm gonna go three. Triplets? Just huge. No good. All right, now we have Winnie here. This is a Wildy daughter. Her due date is April 12th. She is 60 pounds. 60 pounds. So Winnie has gained nine pounds. Goodness. Okay, I feel like Winnie's belly is really growing. She was 35 inches. Hold on, baby. Wow, okay. Yeah, that's what I figured. 38 now. Three inches for Winnie. Okay, she has give and no utter, but I'm going to say two, because she's later, she's our latest due date, so I'm saying two. Two for you. She's got quite a bit of give. I mean, because she's got such a ways to go, she doesn't have any utter, barely, um, just the skin going there. I, I think... I'm gonna say triplets just because her mom is a rock star and this girl's belly is really getting big, so. Triplets is crazy. Yeah, triplets. She's gonna make up for all the singles. Oh, she's too big for the scale. So now we have beautiful Wildy. Uh, her due date is March 26th and 99 pounds. 99 yeah. pounds. 99. It's 10 pounds of weight gain for Wildy. Okay, this is crazy. Has a big belly. She was 45 and a half. Oh my gosh, I can feel the babies. And she is 49. Three and a half. This is big girl. Ah, oh, she's gonna need more of that bit. <laughs> she's feeding multiple. Okay, so Wildy here is super exciting because she's so big. She always has a lot of babies. She had quads as a year old, as a yearling. Uh, last year she gave us five, which was the first time ever for us on our uh, ranch, which was, so that was really cool. Um, and she's just really, really big. She doesn't have a huge udder yet, um, which is kind of surprising. That should come very, very soon. And she's super tight. That being said, she is not as wide as she was last year. And last year, if you guys remember, she sounded like a bullfrog, which she hasn't <laughs> done at all. So she was just, eh, eh, eh. she was so full. I'm thinking four this year, because she is big, but not five. Oh, man. She's one of our earlier ones, so she's probably not gonna grow too much or at all. So I'm also gonna go four. All right, and our last doe is beautiful Cammie here. Her due date is March 30th, and she is 108 pounds. 108 pounds. So she has gained three pounds and still is the heaviest doe we have. <laughs> okay, well, eight pounds is... is three. Three pounds. Um, that's a little shocking, to be honest, but she was pretty overweight. 
Um, so that means she has lost some of that extra fat. So that's a really, really good thing because obviously she's bred. Okay, we're gonna measure her badonk donk. She was 50 and a half inches. Ridiculous. Let's go, girl. Um, okay, 51. Huh. So that is very different. She is done growing. Very unexpected, but also I know she was pretty overweight and I check right here behind the arms and she's lost a lot. So it's okay, it's healthier for her to lose it. And I have no doubt she's bred. She's got an udder going and everything, so. All right, you go first. Okay. Oh, I feel a baby right there already. Oh, there's another. Another, she said. <laughs> I think. And another one, and another one. Oh, look at that. We got seven. Uh, I'm going to go four. I'm going four. She's Her due date is the 30th. Oh, no, I'm going three. She has a lot to give. I'm yeah. going three. All right, let's see what I think. She's got some give, but she's a big doe. She's a big doe. She's very, very overweight. No. She's working on it. She's got a lot of work to do. Um... She does like to have a lot of babies. I, I really just think triplets again this year, to be honest. I, I'm i saying quads. I think quads. She's I mean, lost I that much weight. Um, so this is all baby, so quads. So I am feeling pretty good about today's weigh-in and measurements. How do you feel? I feel pretty confident about my guesses, and I'm going to. <laughs> your, tri your triple crown victory? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> She feels confident about her guesses. So we're looking at about an average of seven pounds uh, weight gain and about two inches um, that the does gained. So that's that's pretty good. Uh, we did have two overachievers. So Mia was three and a half inches and uh, 10 pounds. And Willie also three and a half inches and 10 pounds uh, gate, weight gain, gate weight, I can't do it, weight gain. Um, so those two were the biggest and they were tied and Cami here. I have to be very, very honest. I'm happy that she didn't gain a whole bunch more weight. So feeling really good. If you guys don't weigh and measure your goats when they're pregnant, it's actually really fun. And I even have last year's to look back on. So you can just kind of diagram and, and see and it's, it's beneficial as far as knowing um, potentially how many babies are in there and just keeping track of them and making sure they're healthy and pregnant. So as long as time allows and we don't get any sneak babies on the ground, we will try to weigh them right before they have their babies, um, when they're in labor and as well after they have the babies, just to get that documented as well. But um, as far as my guess is, I know I'm going to be right on all of them and I'm going to win and Emily's just going to be crying in her pillow because she is going down this you year. You were the one crying in your pillow two years in a row because I won. Not so this year. that ain't happening, bro. <laughs> We're going to have to get a crown, I guess, for Ain't me. no sore losers allowed around here. <laughs> she already looks like she's a sore loser. <laughs> I won! <laughs> All right, well, that was fun, you guys. So tally all of it. What are your guesses also? And other than that, we will be seeing you all again soon. Bye, guys.